previously on The Sims 4 Big Brother. Level 2 unleashed the new Team vs. Team twist, naming two HOHs for the second week in a row. Each HOH had to name one nominee, and that person had to be from the opposite team, which resulted in Joaquin and Dina being up for eviction. However, the Paint the Town Gold Veto came to change all of that. After Diego, Vanessa, and Kaori were eliminated, tensions built on the sidelines, and it ended up breaking out into our first fight of the season. However, Dina won the Power of Veto competition, giving her the power to remove herself from the block. leaving Kaori to name a replacement nominee from the other team. Vanessa was named as the replacement nominee, leaving Vanessa and Joaquin to be on the block for eviction. Now both teams must come together and vote one person out. After four Sims have been named HOH, nine house guests have been nominated, and only two evictions, I think it's time to kick out another house guest. Welcome back to Big Brother. Not only did Dina save herself from the block, but she also saved herself from being a have-not. However, now for Vanessa, she's joining Joaquin up in the have-not room. On the way up there, however, it seems that some of our other house guests have something else planned, as Akira soon asks Zoe if they want to get things X-rated, and of course, like always, she said yes. And I just think it's so uh, nice to see Cassandra just up here playing with a little hamster, being like very cute and wholesome, and then downstairs we have full-on woohoo action. However, this woohoo is strictly personal. Uh, last time it was Angela and Joaquin, and they were on the blog, and it kind of saved them, but, you know, it, I don't know if it's going to save Joaquin this time, and especially not this hookup. And I love that I got a little bit of a sneak peek there. <laughs> we see that Kaori is hanging out in the gym and relaxing in a different way than Zoe and Akira. But, before I got rudely interrupted by all this woohooing, I was saying that Vanessa and Joaquin are going up to the have-not room. Joaquin's kind of showing her the lay of the land. He's been here a few times now. And uh, the two of them actually end up ignoring all the radioactive rats, ignoring how gross the room is, and actually have a really sweet and wholesome pillow fight. I'm personally loving all these wholesome, actually getting to know each other moments in the house. However, they're not actually that productive. Like, having a pillow fight is fun, sure. Is it going to build the two of them relate the two of their relationships? Mm, not really as much as boinking would, you know? Like, if they were to woohoo, they would make such a closer bond, and that would actually carry them further with an alliance than just playful pillow fighting. So I kind of feel like showmances might rule the game going forward. However, just like in Mix, it looks like it's party o'clock right now 
for the boys. A lot of them are starting to gather upstairs in that outdoor balcony area. We see that Rohan is already at the bar serving up a couple drinks. We still have that keg going and I'm basically always changing it out for a new one. And we see that Diego and Mark try to do a little keg stand. Of course, it's a fail. I think if you ever do a keg stand with Diego, it's gonna be a fail. And it looks as though Knox is sitting at the bar waiting for Rohan to make him a drink. Hopefully he makes it pretty soon. We see that Joaquin has now joined the rest of the boys and this would be actually a crucial moment for his game if he was able to actually get some of these guys together, bond with them as much as possible, and get their vote. If the boys were to stick together this week, that could totally save him from being evicted and could lead to Vanessa being home. Not to mention Vanessa has won HOH, so she is a bit more of a threat. However, we see that Angela has kind of ruined this boys party and ends up coming upstairs and tries to join everyone, but no one's really paying her any attention. Even Joaquin, who's supposed to be like her boyfriend, uh, still hasn't really shown her any attention whatsoever, and she seems to be a little bit upset about it. But she's not the only girl to come ruin the party. No, that has been the girl's plan since the beginning of the game when level one was boys versus girls, and that still hasn't really left. We see the girls are still using their strategy of breaking up the boys' bonding and trying to get in the way of that, which is probably pretty smart. However, it looks as though Bob is the only house guest not partying with the others. He's spending some alone time in the arcade, which of course this is the spot that everyone is alone, but it's kind of sad that he doesn't feel like he can join these young house guests while they're partying. Maybe it's because he's the oldest in the house, I'm not too sure. We see outside though, back at the party that's going on, Joaquin tries to make Angela feel a little bit better by giving her some attention, kissing her in front of everyone. However, I'm not exactly sure it still works. She still seems pretty bummed out that he was ignoring her. Maybe she's kind of thinking that the boys' alliance is a lot stronger than she thought it was. I don't know, but she seems to be pretty upset. And I don't know, maybe she's getting the feeling that Joaquin is going to go home this week, and that's why she's bummed. She has only this last day with him. I'm not exactly sure, because she's the only one in the house that seems to be upset at all. Everyone else is in such a party mood. We see that even Kaori and Akira, uh, even if they do complain a little bit about the, uh, probably the dust or whatever, something stupid, it still doesn't ruin their party mood. They end up doing keg stands, and because Diego isn't involved, it actually works. <laughs> It's really nice to see everyone hanging out together. I feel like with all the different activities that are available in the house, we tend to see a lot of people hanging out on their own, kind of like Bob is doing right now in the arcade. And it's nice to see them all bonding and hanging out and actually enjoying each other's company, but it's a little too nice for me. So why don't we go ahead and ruin this atmosphere by going back to the house, seeing what they're up to live, gathering them all into the living room, and let's do another vote for a eviction, shall we? Because I want to get another one of these losers out of here. Hello, house guest. As you guys are aware, Vanessa and Joaquin, you are up for eviction this week. Each team leader had to pick one person from the opposing team to face elimination. However, now both teams will combine together and they will vote for one of you to leave. Kaori and Knox, because you are HOH, you will not vote. If it comes down to a tie, we will have a small competition to determine which of you, which one of you, will break it. But why don't we go ahead and see what those votes actually are before we talk about a tiebreaker. Rohan is first up to vote. And based on those relationships, Rohan has voted for Joaquin to be evicted. Now it's time for Diego. Let's see who he votes for.
San Diego has voted for Vanessa. So far, we have a tie of one to one. But that tie won't last very long as Angela is next to vote. And Angela has voted for Vanessa, putting Vanessa in the lead 2 to 1. However, it is now Bob Pancake's turn to vote. And Bob has voted Joaquin. We are back to another tie, this time two to two. But of course, we still have Rashida coming in to vote, and she's going to break that tie for us once again. And Rashida has voted for Joaquin, putting Joaquin back in the lead 3 to 2. Next up, we have Mark coming to the diary room. Is he going to stick with the boys, or will he stick with his co-HOH partner, Vanessa? And Mark has voted for Joaquin, making Joaquin 4 to 2. Dina, it is your turn to vote. Please head to the diary room. And Dina has sent another vote Joaquin's way. Joaquin is now in the lead with five. You only need six to go, so he only needs one more to make it official. But who knows, things could still turn around and they could have a tie. Let's see where it goes. And Zoe is going to lead us there. She is next up to vote. All right, and thanks to Zoe, it is official Joaquin will be evicted tonight. However, we still have two more votes left, so let's see if any of those are going to go to Vanessa, or if he's just going to keep getting more and more votes. Cassandra is next up.
And Joaquin has got another vote. So far it is seven to two with one vote remaining. That last special person is Akira. Akira, please come to the diary room. And with a surprise little twist, Akira actually voted for Vanessa, making the grand total 7 to 3. Alright, house guest, all the votes are in, they've been counted and verified. Wait, that's Big Brother UK. Whatever. And I can now announce that with a vote of 7 to 3, Joaquin, you have been evicted. Please gather your belongings and head out the front door. And I actually think this is kind of cute, but on the way out, Joaquin asks Angela if they want to make it official, and she says yes, and they share one last kiss before he leaves. I think that's really nice, however, I could totally see it landing a big old target on Angela's back. We'll have to see if she's going to be able to dodge it from here on out. All right, and with that, we have our third evicted player, Joaquin. And like always, if you want to download Joaquin and continue his story, you're totally able to do that over on the Sims Gallery. Just check him out on Hot Dogs Sims. And you can even download this Big Brother house, but I also have an entire blank Big Brother shell that you're able to download and decorate yourself. And make sure to tag me in it with Sims Hot Dogs. That way I can see all of your creations and like always like share leave a comment I love talking to my beanie weenies and I want to hear what you guys think of the season Also stay tuned as next week. I might have a little bit of a surprise for you and it does involve you and my next series So stay tuned. Bye